everybody, and welcome to the very next episode of The Reset. We have Char, uh, Slim Williams, the MF and great, and uh, Adrenaline up here. I'm your host, Last Revelation. And uh, Lynn, what you got started for us today? What you got, what you got to talk about today? All right, y'all. So we got some interesting topics up for today. Okay. Um, All right. The first one, Travis, which one? Uh, the morals one or the or the dating one um, in the in the. <laughs> It's up to you, man. This your, this your, this your oh, party. Oh, oh. Your, it's your party, bro. How you, how you oh. come ill prepared? Oh. <laughs> but Travis, you got sure. Travis, you gotta understand. Lynn ain't really host nothing or anything in the I last. I mean, you years. got the whole <laughs> part, right? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So you got oh the whole God. and host see, part. See, yeah, you see, 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 you know why I'm extra? I'm extra because oh, oh. you extra. Okay, so if you want for extra, I wouldn't be extra back. Okay, I just want oh, to be okay. known. All right, your all extra right. ass. <laughs> <sighs> okay. Oh, Let me try this again. I'll just I, we'll just get started again. All right. So, um. So a very interesting topic is morals or money, mm. which is necessary to get ahead. Mm. Right, who want to take that one first? Mm -hmm. Damn. That's a, uh, <laughs> you talking about in today's age or just? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm talking yeah. about like in today's age right now, like where we are right now. Well, yeah. Listen, I think it depends on what. Uh, individual definition of morals is. Mm. <laughs> and that's good. That's good. That's that's definitely uh, a good way to look at it, Charmaine, um, because you know, sin all depends on what you're doing. Exactly. So I, I told you about making them faces right there. You scaring off the views. <laughs> <laughs> People logging on and you scan them off already. What, okay, there's some technical issues over here. Okay, this little light that you gave me, <laughs> you ain't set it up. So I'm over here struggling, okay? Oh, oh yeah, that's God. right. I'm sorry. She couldn't read the instructions, uh -huh. everybody. It's, it's all right. Oh my God. <laughs> I just, I just, this, this episode should really be about basic education. Uh, <laughs> could you read the instructions out the box? Oh my God! Who <laughs> read the instructions? Who does that? You know Nobody like, reads the instructions anymore. Who does that? In the age of YouTube and and Google, do you think that we can get this information? <laughs> but anyway, uh, Charvain, I really think that um, it is all it depends on how you look at it. But I I think in, mm -hmm. in today's climate, um, it's it's sad to say. I think the person with good morals can definitely get ahead in life. Um, yeah. You know, without having a, t a ton of money, um, and I, and I think a person with bad morals can get ahead in life, and you know, without a ton of money as 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 well. Mm -hmm. I just think I just think that it's probably um, a blend of both. You see, you gonna yeah. have good morals and do the right thing, or you gonna have bad morals and, yeah, and not exactly. do the right things to get ahead. Right. And most yeah. successful men in history, despite how they like to be painted out, uh, especially you know J.P. Morgan and, and some of these other guys they weren't always on the up and up. I mean, if you look at Facebook, if you look at, you know, mm. any big corporation, they've screwed somebody, someone, <laughs> you know what yes. I'm saying, to get what it exactly. is. Exactly. And, that, and that's why I'm saying, it, you say morals, but look who the president is. I mean, you know, you got, you got, it seems like a lot of people that are the one are in power or are ahead, are the ones that are crooked, dirty, immoral, and and who only care about self so if that that's a good question but where are the examples is my is my question i mean at some point in life i mean do you want to look for someone else to be an example or do you want to find inspiration within yourself right. so yeah, it just it just depends but, on i think a okay. self and you know self individual um at some point in life because trust me i've looked up to people mm -hmm. um you know early 20s and like man i want to you know get like that or i want my right. marriage like that or whatever and then right. come down the road you know learning certain things about certain situations i'm like for me i'm like it was a moral thing i'm like i don't, I don't want to do that so right. you know at some point in time um i just think with certain situations you want to just take the good <laughs> just depending on where you at and, and just try to ride with that 
and, and have your own inspiration with inside. Like we talked about the last episode, you know, you know, sometimes people are just complacent mm -hmm. and, and, right. you know, sometimes we get knocked down a lot and just say, we just give up, you know? So, and that's a, you know, an individual person to decide whether I'm going to give up or I'm going to keep fighting. You, you get what I'm saying? Yeah, and but see, I, I, think, I think that doesn't carry over um, well when it comes to business. Being mm -hmm. a person with high values, being a person that's good natured um, in business, a lot, of, a lot of sharks like to see that and, and, and run you over, want to take over. I know. Do any kind of way. <laughs> Right. I mean, so. I mean for example, you look at plenty of examples. You can be a you can be ahead and try to do different things to better educate and better move people. Let's, like Travis uses uh Dame Dash and Jay Z for example all the time. Travis mm -hmm. said it was a video out with Jay Z back in the day where Jay -Z, it was a bunch of guys who are already rich and they act in the video. You watch it, everybody act there acting a fool, you know, acting all crazy. <laughs> Jay Z just looking. So, but mm -hmm. what I'm saying is. Dame Dash is sitting here and say, oh, Jay-Z screwed me out of my deal. So, But we look at Jay-Z as the figure for success. But you got one person who's already successful saying, oh, well, he did this and did this and cut me out of, of, of this and this. Right. So, mm -hmm. you know, you can have integrity and, and, and have morals, but people are going to view that as either going – screwing somebody out like Travis said or, or trying to do anything. Well, well John, I don't, I don't know. I just look at it as Jay-Z yeah. <laughs> Jay Jay realized that he couldn't take the people he had with him. Right. Listen, and I think exactly. that was a, de a defining moment for him when he was trying to conduct an interview and the people behind him couldn't even act civilized for, for you know, for exactly. five minutes right. um, doing a video. So I think that was a, a, a moment that hit him like, man, where I'm trying to go I cannot make it here with right. these people here. And it's not that he's saying, hey, I don't love y'all anymore. I don't want to, you know, I want to do this anymore. But in order for him to reach that next pinnacle in his life, that next step in his life, he had to drop them. He had to let them go. And and I give Jerron that scenario a lot because I, yeah. felt, I felt like it, in the past, you know, I was like, Jerron, listen, the, the people you're hanging out with, yeah. they, weren't, they weren't bad people. And I, right. and I wanted, to, you know, mm -hmm. wanted to think they was bad people. I just felt like those people giving how much time and energy and their age should be in mm. place in their life. And I felt mm. like those people was holding my brother back. Right. Those mm -hmm. people right. were stopping my brother's growth. So right. they're like weeds, you know what I'm saying, that come up in the garden. They're gonna choke and strangle everything out if you don't right. pull them, if you don't, if you don't get them out. Look, you reach back and you say, hey, how you doing? What's going on? Let's catch up. Let's let's do that. Right. But you can't necessarily share in my success directly. Mm. You can indirectly share my success. I can come back and, you know what I'm saying, show y'all some things that I've learned, do some things that, and, and mm -hmm. show y'all do some things that I learned, but mm. you can't directly jump on to my platform or my wagon, <laughs> so to speak, is what I'm doing now um, right. mm -hmm. and, and sharing that success. That's, that's how I feel about it. Yeah. I just feel like you break bread with the people that helped you bake it. And, hey. if, and if, hey, they're not, if they're not helping you <laughs> bake this bread, then you got to look at them from across the dinner table. Right? Exactly. You got to look at them on the other side of that dinner table. <laughs> totally yeah. agree, Travis. And, you know, and I think for anyone that's inspiring to, you know, to always move to the next level, we all, we all going to have those decisions where we have to decide, <laughs> mm -hmm. you know, who's going to come along and who's not. And that's, that's tough. You know, that's yeah. not easy because we've been yeah. around, you know, uh, you know, those your friends, y'all grew up together, whatever, right. whatever. But, you know, those decisions sometimes are not easy, but you have to make them in order to go to that next level. And sometimes right. people can't even see that. Well, <laughs> I, I mean, I didn't feel like it was a moral dilemma, you mm -mm, know, no, having, to, having, having to cut people off to be able to be successful. Mm -hmm. I, didn't, I didn't feel, I guess some people did. I guess some people, oh, you changed or you Ooh. sold out or you right. did, whatever. But I mean, however you want to label that, that, that stigma, um, That's true. I, I just knew that regardless of whatever the streets say, um, I was not going to raise my, my children in that environment. I was not going to raise mm. my children to be like that environment. So if I just feel like mm. it has to stop somewhere. So morally, I did what I felt like was best for, you know, mm -hmm. for my, my, my own. So. Right. Got it. Okay. I'll come back to choices and decisions.
Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. So you think, do you think that, that, you know, me making this decision, you know, or, or making any decision in life stops you from making money because you choose the, you know, what feels best to you. If it's morally mm. demeaning or morally lowering your standards for you, do you feel like you lose money because of that? Well, mm. if, I, if, if, if I can add real quick. Oh my goodness. Okay. <laughs> The Bible said, <laughs> oh, no. oh, oh, hell, oh, here, we go. <laughs> here we go. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Tell me what the Bible said. What did the law say? <laughs> yes, <laughs> they ain't got the Bible confused with, confused with the dictionary. <laughs> <laughs> she put the dictionary yeah. up there. Don't come for me, <laughs> you not come for me. Don't come for I me, love you, Lee. <laughs> Before I was so rudely, I, I mean, I mean, I mean, to be honest, guys, I didn't know Lynn could read. Um, <laughs> a, oh my goodness! I'm about, I'm about to read your ass right now. Travis, Travis, Lynn, Travis, Lynn, Lynn, Travis, Lynn, Travis, Lynn, Lynn thought uh, Webster was the second coming. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he coming, y'all. <laughs> <He's> <laughs> Run. If I get up, I'm coming over there, okay? I'm coming straight over there, all right? That's all I'm going to say, bro. That's all I'm going to say. Oh, my God. Oh my Go God. ahead, Liz. Anyway, like I was trying to say, right, mm -hmm. the Bible says, uh -huh. the Bible says that uh -huh. it rains on the just and the unjust. Mm -hmm. So for me personally, um, starting going this is just this is way we keep it real mm -hmm. on the reset you know what I'm talking right, about so right. personally for me i'm trying to juggle who i want to show my show as myself i mean of course you want to keep it real you know what i'm saying yeah but i'm trying to juggle with myself who do i really want to be publicly you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. right. what do i want to show right. publicly you know what i'm saying that's 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 something that i'm i'm kind of struggling with a little bit but um i've seen it both sides i've seen good people go through things. I've seen bad people exactly. go through things. Right. I've seen right. people that have a conscience. I see people that don't have a conscience. Don't have a conscience exactly. at all. I mean, don't give <laughs> a damn about nothing. Yes. So I think what's important is, is you have to make sure you have a strong center, a strong center of who you are mm -hmm. and what you will do and what you will not do, what you will accept, mm -hmm. what you will not accept. Right. So right. morals to me, I, I think I think it's more important, you know what I'm saying? Because at the end mm -hmm. of the day, if I do the right thing, then I'm going to be blessed. Because just like you were talking about earlier, how those companies don't be doing people right. right. People people, people in power, if you don't do your people right, then it's it's just not going to work. You're going to fall. You're going to fail. Because right. you're not doing the right thing for your people. You know what I'm saying? That's true. That's, That's why people point. don't come to work. People don't work hard. People don't care about what they do. There's no incentive to do the right thing. Because oh. you know, people, people don't care. So... I think the best way to do it is to have morals, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But it's kind of hard to tell nowadays, you know what I'm saying? Because it seems like <laughs> the people who ain't got morals, they... That, that's ain't. what I was saying, man. Exactly. Yeah. It's, they're, they're, they're the ones who seem like they're on top. Mm -hmm. And if there are the ones with morals and stuff, I think more people need to speak out about that, you know? But it's kind of hard because you can be the guy who are, who's morally straight and does things the right way, Somebody mm -hmm. gonna come across the line and say, "Oh, well, you were, like Travis said, you, your friends could say, oh, 'Oh, you a sellout. You changed. You did this. You did that. You know, um, I don't think that's right for you, or I don't think that's right for you. You know, you should have did this. They'll try to tell you what you should do and how you should do it. So, I like, but I, I, I see what you're saying. Though, as long as you know yourself, you're doing the right thing. I think that's all. That's all that matters. Cause people gonna say what they are gonna that's say. True. At the end of the day, that you can do about it. Yeah, because you got to try to sleep at night. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. You got to lay your head. Exactly. Like, that's you. You have your own personal <laughs> demons that you're going to have to fight because of the results of what you've done. That's right. So, mm -hmm. I'll say, I, would, I would say, hey, be careful. Like, like, right. just be careful. You know what I'm saying? Do what you got to do. But, you know, just know that every action has a consequence. It can mm -hmm. be a great consequence. It could be a negative oh, that is exactly. Be careful, boo. You better be careful. <laughs> I mean, if you, if you look at, oh, right. I mean, if you look at, you know, all of the, the famous actors, Robin Williams, you know, all of these people who've, who've committed suicide, having that money. Mm -hmm. And I understand in some cases, this, they, they had some mental health issues. They had some problems yeah. with depression. Right. Um, it's, it's real, um, you know, but 
that also goes to show you that money doesn't fix everything. You can go they don't. And have everything that they want to have and they go jump off a cliff. They hang themselves in the basement okay. because they can't get the basics of life right. And I, and I, and I think mm. that people who have been broke before in their lifetime that run into money, I'm not saying that they better, they, they know how to handle it. I just know yeah. if they was to lose it all, they still know how to survive versus exactly. people who, who, who've never, they've always had money and right. they lose everything and, and they can't figure out what to do. They can't cope without it. Right. That's true. That's true. That I that That's I deep. just I just don't understand. There are just some things in my lifetime right now that I don't understand. Like a job. I don't understand. <laughs> <laughs> no, I say I ain't saying anything, sir. Ma'am, ma'am, I ain't saying anything. What'd you say? I ain't saying anything, ma'am. Not at all. No, you can get this hands today, too. I, 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 I ain't saying nothing. I ain't saying anything. Stop trying, stop trying to attack me. Stop trying to attack me. See, this is why I'm extra. This you know is why I'm extra right here. This why, this why I'm extra. You know what I'm talking about? Attack that application, boo. Uh, <laughs> anyway, anyway, <laughs> like I was trying to say, like I was trying to say once again. Yeah, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Attack that application. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Anyway, oh. see, I done forgot what the hell I was about to say. See that? I'm see sorry. That? I done forgot. I done totally forgot. It ain't your fault, Jerron. Not this time, Travis. I'm on your ass. <laughs> what you talking about? I'm on your ass. It's all right. Hey, all right. Look, Lynn. I didn't forgot what I was gonna say. Oh yeah, okay, now I remember, now I remember. Okay, all right. So what I was trying to say again, rudely, mm. number two, you got one more time. Right. But, um, <laughs> um, I don't, there are some <laughs> things that I don't get, like how you can have, be a millionaire. And mm -hmm. I'm not saying, I agree with you, Travis, money doesn't, I heard, Den, I saw Denzel Washington say, money does not bring happiness, but it's a hell of a down payment. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So like, how can you have everything that you could possibly want, you know, and mm -hmm. not be happy with because, millions of dollars. You know what I'm saying? How can you not? Why would you why would you want to still like why would you still want to why would I want to do drugs? Like why would I want to do drugs and crack and hair on and stuff like that? Why would I want to do all those things and I got money? Why would I want to do that? Because money be is not a because man. it just covers up whatever yeah. what is really going yeah. on internally. Yeah, you know so money you is not a fulfillment. Exactly. Yeah, money is not a fulfillment. It's not. I, 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 remember a guy, I remember a guy, I told him, I remember a guy I used to work with back in the day. I told him the story. I forgot which celebrity was that, that killed himself or whatever who had money. And he didn't believe me. Black guy, he was like, oh, man, there's no way in hell. He had all that money. Uh, money, well, money does, money brings a temporary satisfaction. Exactly. You can buy stuff, you have access, you have, you have privilege because money can buy you out of trouble. Money can buy you yep. pretty much anything you want if you have the means to do it. It's a temporary satisfaction. Once you buy something and you got it, the satisfaction goes down because no, the, exactly. high, the, the high is to buy it. You, the high is to knowing the fact that you can go out there and get whatever you want. Yeah. That's the high. And once that doesn't complete who you are as a person, you, you know, um, you got to have like the other Besides money, integrity, you gotta have you gotta have God, man, because mm. yeah. and I, it's a movie, it's a movie real quick. It's a movie that that, that brings up this part mm. of this conversation. It's about uh I cannot think of the name of the movie, but the movie you can they, they a couple buys his house, a big ass house, and in the mm -hmm. house is a room, and in the room is a wall where you could wish whatever you want inside Ten. that as long as you inside of the house, money, yeah. cars, mm -hmm. anything. Right. As soon as you walk outside of the house, <laughs> the money disintegrates because mm -hmm. it only exists inside the house. You have the happiness house, in really? the house. Once right. you step outside of the house, that you don't have no longer to that access, so you're not happy. So basically, mm -hmm. what the movie is saying is you can have whatever you want. It doesn't fulfill you in your heart. It's, it's exactly. all about the heart. Right, right, right. And, that, and, and that's that's what. That's what uh, for people. I mean, not, you, not, you know I mean, money feels good. That I understand. I mean, <laughs> money corrupts. Money, money brings, mm. brings about power, and then you get yep. power. So then I feel like I'm invincible because I'm finna go, um, you know, do some drugs or smoke some crack or or, or hair on. Uh, yeah. like man like to say it. Hair wrong. You know, right. Hair wrong. Hair wrong. You know, anyway. Hair wrong. 
Not That's what I've seen on TV, okay? Oh, uh-huh. I don't do drugs, baby. Okay, I, I, I don't do that. I don't do that. I am the drug, okay? Uh, oh, oh, okay. 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 All right. Okay. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. No man. All right. But anyway, um, <laughs> so, so, um, I just feel like money puts you on a different <laughs> level or makes you think that you're on a different level. And you feel it. Just like when you was in your 20s. Man, you felt like you could do anything. You felt mm. like it's never gonna come to an end. Oh, what is old? You know what I'm saying? Like, what is this? Go- I'm never gonna get to this point, you know, in my in my life. And, and I think that money brings that invincibility factor. And then it, you do and try stupid things because you're bored. You're tired of buying. You're tired of shopping. You're tired of go tra- traveling. You're tired of doing all this stuff. Now I'm sitting in the house, and I'm a, I'm gonna call up somebody, and we gonna pop this and shoot that. And mm-hmm. all that at the time. It's, a, it's the same thing, just like the people you see on the, on the corner store at the liquor store, and they hang out there all day. Yeah. That's, what, <laughs> that's what makes them happy. So I feel like it, it has to already be in you. I know people can, can get into this industry and it corrupts you, but I, I think mm-hmm. if, if you hold a level head and don't follow that BS, um, yeah. you, know, you, can, you can make it out. But then again, do you gain, do you gain clout? Do you gain anything when you don't participate into the the same things that the industry is participating I mean, in. Look, now look that's at, true. Look that's at six true. nine for example. Six nine got multi, is a multi millionaire rapper. He but he has no peace. You gotta say. walk around with <laughs> twenty security. You you gotta check. You look behind your back. I mean, who? Yeah, you could say, oh well, that guy has money though. That guy has money. People, and see that that's the problem. That's why a lot of these fools follow Trump because. You got people who look at somebody, as long as they're successful, they think no matter what they do, it's okay. Kanye West, for example, right. Kanye West going on rant, the first thing they say, oh, well, he's worth a billion dollars. If you take away that billion, he's a crazy fool on the street. <laughs> right, so, right, right, right. I mean, you well, people, go ahead, Travis. I'm going to say, well, I, I just think that people follow Trump mainly because he says and do what he wants. Right. And no other president in history has just come out and blatantly just said what off the top of the head, you know, off the cuff. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. Lock her up. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. You know, grab yeah. a pot of coochie. You know, no, <laughs> other, no, no president in history has, has just publicly act like a normal person. You know, they, a lot of people expect the president to be, you know, high and mighty and this and this <laughs> angelic figure that that you know. It's going to have these ultra wise words of wisdom and, yeah. you know, and, and teach you. And Trump is just the first one that is talking just like they're thinking. They're thinking exactly how he's talking. That is the reason why I believe Trump is favorable amongst them. I mean, that's, how you, that's, that's how you want the election. I mean, that's just the bottom line. We put Obama in, they put a fool in. But <laughs> that fool is acting just like them. So in their eyes, he's not a fool. He's just a part of, you know, what I'm about. So you have to, you have to look at it from both perspectives. We're looking at it as, man, this is the end of the world. Um, but really, if you, if you think about it, who really is getting affected by it? Is it, is it really the black community that's being affected by this? Mm. Or is it the white the class? Is it, is it, is it, yeah, I mean, it's definitely middle class. It's definitely, yeah. it's definitely us. Yeah. You know, I, I don't think... America can never lose the middle class. America lose the middle class, that's like taking the backbone, that's like taking the spine out of any living organism. It's, it's not gonna move, it's not gonna prosper, it's not gonna walk. Even though the middle class is shrinking, I believe they'll never get rid of it. And it's, it's just not possible to get rid of it without you know, bearing the whole country. But I just look at Trump as a, a defining moment in history to look and see in the, in, in the year 2020 is this how people still act? They still mm. act the exact same way. Yeah, that's a lot of, a lot of uh, events happen in 2020. Yeah. I'm absolutely. sure it's something that we will never forget as long as we are here. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. 2020. Yeah, man. 2020 was wild, man. 2020. I... Well, we still in 2020. Can't yeah. be worse. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, it is. Yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah, it's still not over. Huh? It's still not over. Yeah, so, is, is definitely um, is is right about that. But listen, let me ask you a question. I mean, let me, uh-huh. let, me, let me let me make up a topic here. Trump wants to <laughs> take five billion dollars from the TikTok deal to teach people the real history of the U.S. Now, 
in just a few words from everybody, what, what do you think <laughs> real history of is, uh, is all about? This article comes from uh, CNN.com. Uh, wow. Where it says Trump's want to uh, take $5 billion from TikTok bill to teach people the real history of the U.S. And that um, President Trump um, in August issued an executive order requiring to sell a TikTok. Um, um, by his Chinese oh, okay. company to an American property. The proposed deal would see Oracle and Walmart collectively uh, taking 20% of the stake in the newly created entity, TikTok Global, which will operate in the U.S. Trump says that it will probably operate out of Texas and uh, create oh. 25,000 jobs. Um, what do you think Trump um, history is? Go first. <laughs> I'll, I'm speechless. <laughs> Man. Well, I'll go first. This going to be short and sweet, okay? I don't trust nothing that man got to say. I don't. I don't trust yeah, nothing. Sure I, don't, I don't trust nothing Trump got to say. I don't, I don't trust nothing Trump want to tell me. I don't trust. I don't trust nothing. I mean, Trump is about himself. Himself, excuse but, me. But you Trump. know the devil you're dealing with. So, I mean, can I you mean, deal with that for it, four more years? I, w I would say I don't have an issue with it as long as they you what is the history of America is slavery so it's it's nowhere else around that era so what 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 other story can you tell <laughs> I mean, they can make I mean, them up I mean really Trump Trump attacked the 1619 project mm -hmm. uh, which is an ongoing project by the New York Times created in uh, 2019. Mm -hmm. on the 100th anniversary um, of the beginning of American slavery. Um, mm -hmm. The project was aimed um, to reframe the country's history by placing consequences of slavery um, and its contributions to Black Americans at the center of the national narrative by saying, hey, we wouldn't have these things if it wasn't for Black inventors, if it wasn't for Black people, if it wasn't, this country wouldn't be built if it wasn't for Black people. Um, I'm sure. And I think that is what he's trying to um, I don't know, man. I guess not get out. Um, he don't. He don't want to tell that story. He wants to tell uh, his version, which is their version, which is the version they already teach him. If we can't trust him in the White House, how are we gonna trust him writing history? True. I want to talk about reparation. Just take that five billion and just reparation. It's, it's, it's no way because you know what I'm saying they 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 push and tell everybody. I don't see how they can ever do any type of reparations, you know, whatsoever. I, it, yeah. it, will it, will it ever be enough? Because you, you got to look at 40 acres in the mule. What that 40 <laughs> acres today will be worth, mm. you know what I'm saying? Mm. And, and yeah. if you look at where they was going to place it at, is it sitting in the middle of New York? Is it sitting mm. out in California? You know what I'm saying? Where, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. where Trump Tower sits at? You know, you don't, <laughs> you don't, you don't know what that, strike, that stretch of land will be worth. So I think that's a... I don't think we're ever getting to the point. I just think that's a, 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 I just don't see it ever happening, ever. Yeah, exactly. just a regular talking point. It's a maybe. good thought, though. <laughs> yeah, definitely, definitely that. <laughs> definitely, definitely that. But I'd listen. rather see that five billion go to that. That's just, you know. <laughs> I, I agree with you 100%. I mean, if you want to talk about some type of reparations, you can eliminate fees to go to college. If, if yeah. you want, mm -hmm. you know, they Across want the to board. educate people. But see, that's the, that's the point. They don't want to educate people in, in, South, in the in United States. See, they just don't want to do it. It's available if you're going to forward mm -hmm. it. Mm -hmm. you know yeah. But we're not going to make it like public school. They should have public colleges. And then if I want to go to an Ivy League school, if I qualify for an Ivy League school, then let me go there. But right. let's give the normal person an opportunity to better themselves. You know, and you can keep a whole lot more jobs here in America. I, I, just, think, I just think if you want to look at reparations, that's how they should do it. Free health care, <laughs> And you know, free school. Tuition, school. Yeah. Let me ask you a question, Trav, for everybody. Um, why do you think uh when Obama was in office, why did you think uh you guys well here's my question, do you guys think Obama for the eight years he was in office did enough for black people? No, I don't look at it. I don't look at things like oh, we should do stuff for black people or white people or exactly. I just look at it, what are you gonna do for all people? I'm asking people. for the same rights. That everybody else has. That's mm -hmm. all I'm asking for. If I go to court for a crime, I want the same sentence you handed Billy Bob, you know, saying 30 days ago for doing the same crime. 
don't give me an extra 20 years because I'm black. That's all I'm, that's all I'm saying. If, if, it's, if it's across the board for everybody, Fair. then I yeah. think nobody has anything to cry about. But it's not across the board. It is not. And it's, and it's, it's completely uneven. So, you know, you can, have, you can have another guy, you know, get, get five years probation and, and be a black guy to walk in the room the very next day. And, you know, he get 30 years. But it's mm. the same crime. So you look yeah. at the young lady who scammed um, those in four. Oh, my God. The actress. Right. I'm not going to call yeah. her. But she gets to choose what jail she sits in. Ooh, yeah, that's crazy. Hell, what, what? What? For I, two months. I ain't never seen nothing for. I've never seen it. <laughs> I, and she only gets two months. They they mm -hmm. some six months, but she's only doing two months. And then she get to pick when she goes to prison. At. Well, damn it. Let me pick. If I'm gonna go to prison, I want to pick what prison I'm going to too. <laughs> pick my menu, mm -hmm. my, food, my my roommate. I want to pick all that because I'm sure she is. I'm sure she's the the the, the people that have money. Just get extreme privilege, and it should, yeah. it should it should just go across the board, and that's yeah. the example of white privilege. That is oh yeah, excellent example of white privilege. Yes, absolutely. Oh, yeah. Any any closing thoughts? We got about five minutes. Let's get some closing. Oh thoughts. wow, absolutely. Anything anybody want to announce? Anything anybody want to say? Oh, episode three of the reset is up right now. Go check it okay. out. Okay. Don't okay. Oh, yes. Right now, Thank you to everyone that's been viewing. Come through this stream <laughs> and drop kick you. Check it out. Right <laughs> what? What? <laughs> What'd you say? See, see what I'm talking about? The deer in the headlights look she got going. <laughs> what? You know what I'm talking about? Oh, my <sighs> God. We want to thank everyone for looking at the episodes. Um, I hope everyone is enjoying it. That's for sure. Because we are. Yeah. I just want to thank yeah. the fact that um, we got a new member here on the podcast, um, which is Lynn's new hair. So right. I just think that we all should right. give a hand clap. Absolutely. For Absolutely. Lynn bringing yeah. an addition Absolutely. over to the, uh, oh my God, to the podcast. Other than that, <laughs> is sporting uh, the falls. This is the latest uh, <laughs> that just came out. It, mm. it, 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 it ain't even out yet. It's called the Chewbacca. <laughs> Your mama Chewbacca, okay? You go hate man. Why you got to hate on the damn time? Oh, Chewbacca. Uh, she you mad because you ugly. Yeah. You mad because you ugly, boo. You mad because you ugly. Uh, called uh, cool. the dead dog. <laughs> uh, A.K.A. Roadkill. Kiss it, Travis. Kiss it. All right? I, I believe we did find it on the back of a mint card. <laughs> <laughs> It was on the back of a milk car. Don't make me get up and show you. Okay, when don't I make me get up and show you. I'll let you. I'll show the reset. I'll show the reset. <laughs> you show the reset. I'll show the reset. <laughs> You'll show the reset. Well, man, to be honest with you, it looked like your ass has been reset. But anyway, let's go ahead and move on. Uh, let's go ahead and move on. Troy, you got anything? You got anything, sir? Nah, man. Uh, I just thank. I want to thank all the subscribers and uh, everybody for watching for uh, the Reset Podcast, man. It, uh, we appreciate you guys. We love you guys. Um, man, uh, we have fun doing this. Although you <laughs> see the jokes and stuff going back and forth, we all love each other, man. It's all oh, of fun. Of um, you know, everybody's everybody's just taking a part in this, and you know, we just can't wait to see the growth in this uh, in this uh, podcast. So. Oh yes. Absolutely. And make sure you check out Slim William Games. Uh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Featuring uh, your boy. You know what I'm talking There you go. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. We got a little whack ass. Talk about it. You know what I'm saying? Little whack ass. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and, uh, Lynn also your has boy. a show called Love, Laugh, Win. Yeah. Uh, she has a secondary <laughs> show is I Ain't Got No Job. Uh, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Uh, her husband is Tommy Strong. He has <laughs> <laughs> I did. Also, we have a lot of new content coming out from this show. Yes. Um, we can't wait to see all of that. We appreciate y'all guys for checking in with us and uh, catch you on the next episode of Reset. Peace. All righty, peace. <laughs>